What's up guys? Tom here. Back for another video. Um, here to do a response. Big Star. Big Star 1000's uh, Gimme 10 Impulse. Um, thread against a Threader. It's a video. Um, yeah. Really cool. A lot of my uh, Impulse stuff is um, Coltrane. Either uh, John or Alice, but yeah, let's just get into it. Um, a lot of these will probably be my favorite impulse that I pulled, um, at least some of them. Definitely in my uh, top. So, first up here, I showed this not too long ago, Albert Ayler's Newgrass. Um, a bit different than a lot of his other stuff. A lot more funky. Um, definitely. There's some funky vocals, soul vocals on here. Really cool though, really clean copy. It is on the uh, black and red label, I believe. Yep. Classic black and red rate. Label. Blech. Label. Promo stamp, but excellent album. Um, for players on here, we got uh, Cal Cobbs, Bill Fowell, Pretty Purdy on drums, Burt Collins, Joe Newman. On trumpet, Selden Powell on sax and flute, Buddy Lucas on sax, and Garrett Brown on trombone. So, if you haven't heard this one, like I said, it's definitely a bit different than, um, I guess, regular Albert Ayler, his usual affair, but I love it. Um, I think it's really, really good. You know, they say here, uh, something a bit different, and he does it well. Everything he does, he does well, pretty, in my, in my opinion, so... Moving on to uh, some Coltrane stuff, I believe Alice Coltrane actually to be exact. A monastic trio, my favorite uh, Alice Coltrane album. Probably, I would say it's my favorite. It's been my favorite for a long time. So, um, really, really great spiritual free jazz. Um, dedicated to uh, John Coltrane. Obviously, came out around that time so on the same label the uh, black and red I'm not gonna show it you guys know what it is but um, for players on here you got Rashid Ali um, not right yeah Rashid Ali I'm sorry I don't know why I think he was he was he's on here Rashid Ali Jimmy Garrison um, Ben Riley and that's it just a trio setting mostly uh, recorded in 68 I believe, yep, recorded in 68, so, year after he passed, but excellent, excellent, um, free jazz from Alice Coltrane. Highly recommend this one, if you haven't heard it. Camera's about to die, so I'm going to try to go through these semi-fast. Uh, after that, we got another Alice Coltrane, one that I just recently picked up, haven't showed this yet. Um, and I have no idea how to say this correctly. Journey in Sachinenda, Sachi Joey. I have no idea. I'm not gonna say it. Journey. Um, uh, shrink. Yeah, I just picked this up recently. Covers and open all the way. Thing was like brand new when I got it, but it was used. Wow. Um, covers like brand new, still in the shrink. Amazing. Featuring Pharrell Sanders with um, Cecil McBee, Charlie Hayden, Rashid Ali. Um, excellent. Excellent album right here. Definitely up there as uh, one of my favorites. This is actually a reissue from the late 90s, I believe 97. Uh, that's what the Impulse label looks like on this one. Um, 180 gram uh, reissue. But um, damn good. Moving on to Pharaoh album. Uh, probably my favorite Pharaoh album, I would say. And same with this, his last one's been my favorite for a long time, so probably not going to change anytime soon. Tahid from 1967. Um, just short, uh, five tracks on here. Okay. Yep, five tracks on here. I believe that, um, I remember Pharaoh Sanders saying that this was one of his favorite albums to 
make. I believe he said that once in an interview, so really, really cool. Um, once again, same label. I don't have a lot of uh, originals on Impulse, but they're all usually on this label, but which is fine with me. You know, they usually sound really good, so I uh, can't really complain. I would have originals if I could, you know, afford them, but they don't always pop up for a great price. A lot of people, obviously, are trying to go after them, and a lot of people with money, so. All right. Now, uh, moving on to <clears throat> some John Coltrane stuff now. Actually, this is John and Alice. Cosmic Music. Um, some of John Coltrane's last recordings, unfortunately, before he passed. Really cool, Gatefold. I really love this one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it doesn't have the lineup in here, so I'm not exactly. Oh, there it is. Okay, so Jimmy Garrison, Rashid Ali again. So I thought Ben Riley, uh, Farrell Sanders, and I believe somebody else played on here. No? Oh, Ray Appleton plays percussion as well. So, and same label once again, black and red. So. Yeah, like I said, you guys probably all know these albums if you're the free jazz at all or just jazz. They're all pretty damn well known. So, um, another one uh, John Coltrane's Sunship. Great, great free jazz. One of my favorite uh, periods of his from 71, I believe this one is bit beat up, but um, I got it for cheap, so can't really complain. The vinyl is fine. It is great. So, uh, Jack Coltrane, McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, Elvin Jones. Recorded in 1965, released in 71. So right, right in that period. Um, late, uh, mid 60s, mid to late 60s to mid 70s, probably my favorite period of his. Another one I got recently. This one actually is an original, which is pretty cool. Awesome find. Uh, Africa Brass, John Coltrane Quartet. Damn good. Damn good. Um, for some reason, it took me forever to hear this. I don't know why it took me so long to listen to this album, but I'm so glad I finally uh, went and copped it and just. I mean, I heard it a while ago, but I don't know why. It just kind of. I thought it was going to be a lot more Af um, African influence for some reason, just uh, by the name, but it was definitely uh, worth checking out. Three tracks, and it is a uh, mono pressing, I believe, on the orange label. I'm not sure if there's a glare on that, so let me actually take it out. That label, love that label. Really nice. Um, yeah, you gotta love these older pressings, you know, even if they're messed up a bit, you know, vinyls look the best, they still play quite well. So, gotta love that, really great. Impulse did a great job on their uh, early pressings, so. Alright, the last couple here are uh, also Coltrane, I'll have one more of the show. Um, John Coltrane's own, this one was really messed up when I got it. Um, radio station copy really beat but definitely up there as a great f uh, free jazz spiritual jazz album really great vibes on this one um, this one is on the green label no it's on the neon label so once again really cheap but you can see it's beat um, it's the track ohm by itself is just uh, probably one of his um you know, one of his most well-known. Uh, once again, McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, Donald Garrett, Elvin Jones, Joe Brazil, Farrell Sanders. Um, great, great stuff. You know, people always talk about that track, so... Definitely looking for an upgrade for that one, but eventually. And uh, the last Coltrane I have to show is First Meditations. Or First Meditations for Quartet, I guess is the same... Uh, the full name of it. 
This one I feel is uh, overlooked a lot just because of when it was released, even though it was recorded back in uh, 65, but um, it wasn't released until uh, 77, I believe. And this one is on the, this label, green and purple. Uh, yeah, once again, McCoy Tyner, Jimmy Garrison, Elton Jones, obviously, quartet, but uh, great, great stuff. And it can be had for pretty cheap, too, so definitely don't overlook it. Cheers, by the way. Having some coffee. Um, okay, so moving away from the train, we have uh, another one of my favorite players here, Marion Brown, with a uh, low flying earth, or sweet flying earth, I'm sorry, I always think it's low. Sweet flying, a uh, flying earth. Um, released in the early 70s, 74, so mid 70s. Part of the uh, Georgia trilogy, I believe it's called. The Afternoon of the Georgia Fawn, or something like that. And um, there's another album in there as well, but not positive what it is. But this one uh, is probably my favorite of the trilogy. I have heard all of them, and I think this one's probably my favorite. Really, really great. Free jazz from Mr. Brown on the rainbow label, um, neon label, I'm sorry, not rainbow, neon label, wow. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I said the uh, lineup on here. So, pretty cool lineup on here. We got Paul Bland piano, Muhal Richard Abrams on Fender Rhodes. Um, Soprano sax, obviously from Marion Brown. Um, Paul plays Steve McCall plays drums and Bill Hassan plays percussion. So pretty cool lineup. Definitely uh, trying to get the other two to complete this trilogy, but um, pretty much anything Marion Brown would be pretty good, in my opinion. Um, so I guess that's it. I guess I could show this one. I got this one recently too. I'll show this in my next video, but finally found Charlie Hayden's Liberation Music Orchestra uh, from 1970. I believe this was released. Uh, my local shop got this in, so I definitely grabbed it. Um, I think Tony actually put me onto it first, so thanks, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, long time want list item for me. Not hard to get, but just uh, waiting for one to pop up for a decent price. So, really cool. Lots of uh, kind of big band music, but done free jazz style. Lots and lots of players on here, um, including Don Cherry, Carla Blay, just uh, Char obviously uh, Charlie Hayden, but um, Roswell Rudd, I meant to say. Um, Andrew Sorrell plays drums on this, I believe. Um, yeah, Paul Motian. So, awesome. Really great lineup on that. Bit beat, but I don't care. Really cool find. Just glad to finally have it. Um, and it is on this label. So, black and red. Alright guys, that's it. I think I showed 11 there, so that's good enough for now. A lot of those were my favorites, like I said. Impulse, definitely a label that um, has put out a lot of classics. A lot of, um, basically, I would consider them like a standard in jazz. Um, definitely, definitely went full spectrum. And, um, you know, always done quality work, so hopefully uh, still continue to collect. But so much out there, you know, it's hard. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'll link uh, Big Star's original video in the description if you guys want to check it out if you haven't yet. I've also watched, um, most made a video for this. Anders, I believe. I believe he made a video for this. I watched his, which was really cool, too. So, all right, guys, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Peace.